one. Hey everybody and welcome to Kids Life with me, Rick, and you are... Shannon. Hey Shannon, how are you mate? You doing well? I'm doing okay. Getting yeah. very bored of this lockdown. Bored of lockdown. Anybody else bored of lockdown? Mm -hmm, me too. Um, so <laughs> it is pretty crazy, isn't it? Like all the time, honestly, there are times in, um, in my life and probably the same with uh, those that are watching where you just wish I didn't have to go to school or I didn't have to go to work. Um, and now it's been forced on us for the last seven weeks. I'm now like, I really want to go back to work, although I have been working. So anyway, it's just weird, isn't it? It's so hard, but hopefully there is some kind of hope on the horizon, Shannon. Why might there be some hope on the horizon? Because on Sunday, Boris Johnson is talking about e what's the steps to easing the lockdown. Amazing. Do you know, so, do you know what? Very quickly, I'm just going to pray for Boris and his team, and I never thought I'd say that. Uh, and um, we will um, we'll pray for him and um, and also for us uh, as we start. Is that okay? Yep. Great. Here we go. So uh, I'm going to close my eyes because it helps me to think. Uh, Lord, thank you for um, the leaders we have around us. Thank you, especially at the moment, for uh, our government. And um, Lord, we pray that you will help them to make the right decisions. Um, so that there isn't a second peak of this uh, horrible virus stuff, um, so that, Lord, we can keep the NHS, NHS safe, and also, um, Lord, I pray that we'll keep each other safe as well. So whatever decisions are made, help us to um, follow them well. And uh, we pray right now that you will help us to learn a little bit more about Moses. Uh, so thank you in your name. Amen. Amen. Cracking. Right then. So um, I'm currently... 2 nil down. How, how are you 2 nil down? Well, you set the challenge first week of baby food, and I got none of those right. Good point. <laughs> um, I said apple crumble instead of apple soup or whatever it was. Um, and no. then last week, like you did that cup stack thing faster than I blink, I think. So, True. Um, I'm doing rubbish at the moment. So I'm bringing, I'm bringing a game for you. All right. Uh, I'm bringing a game from uh, Sunday morning check-in. All right. And yeah. that is blind drawing. Okay. So um, it's dead easy. Um, and some of those who are watching may have done this already. Um, and maybe you have had a practice. I don't know. But um, we have both drawn a picture, haven't we, Shannon? Yes, we have definitely drawn a picture. It relates to the story that we're doing today, which is Moses and the Burning Bush in Exodus 3, which we're going to talk about. But here is my story. And um, there's my story. Lovely. So all we have to do now, Shannon, is to recreate our pictures. I okay. feel like yours is going to be easier than mine. I don't know. I've got like burning bush. I've got like a shocked Moses. I've got, and we've, and also, by the way, kids, uh, we've written, you are on holy ground because that is one of the things that God says to Moses. So w that has to be on our paper as well. And neither of us can actually write spell anyway. So. Exactly right. So here we go. Uh, so I've got my piece of paper here. I have like my. My notebook. Oh, that's great. Right, okay. So I've put that down. I'll uh, show you. There's my piece of paper. Put on uh, your, um, you can't, so that you can't see. Make sure you've got your pen before you can't see, Shannon, by the way. Hi, everybody. Look, I've got my mask ready. Uh, Are you ready, I'm ready Shannon? I got not quite. I have to actually tie something. I don't have a. Oh. Let's just put on some lift music while Shannon does this. Do, 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 Level three. Do, 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 You have arrived at level four. Excellent. Right, you got your pen? I think so. I think I'm looking at the camera. I'm not entirely sure anymore. Okay, I am going to count at the same time as drawing. Um. Oh, no, actually, we're just going to draw it as fast as we can, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to draw it as fast as we can, and when you finish it, you shout stop. Okay? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Hope you know your picture. Three. Yeah. Two. One. Go. 
How you doing, Shannon? Are you doing all right? Uh, I'm, I'm all by this. Uh, I knew. I've drawn the bush and the writing. Uh, on holy ground. Done. Done. <laughs> I got the holy ground bit. That's, that's, that's not too bad. My Moses hasn't got a beard, though, I've realised. My beard is, my beard is um, the wrong place. That's it, what it was, and that's what it is. Like, uh, I, let's, let's see. Um, I, I mean, clearly, I think I'm the winner, and clearly you think you're the winner. So uh, that's going to go well. Um, <laughs> I think it's up to you guys to actually tell us who won. Yes, that's what we want. That's what we want. Uh, so, um, Shannon, like, let's recap last week or the last couple of weeks. So, Moses was born like you and me. Yep, Moses was definitely born like us. Yeah, and uh, most of us may have been put into a Moses basket. Now we know why, because he was putting yep. a basket down a river. Then, um, last week after he'd grown up like you and me, um, he made a really good choice. He made a really bad choice. Oh, what was the bad choice? Someone. He decided to murder someone. Ah, yeah. Don't do that. That's that's not it, good. It's really not good. Really not good. Okay, and then um, then he ran away. He did run away. Okay, and that, and so, that leads up to today's story. It does indeed. So, um, uh, we, we yeah, how should we tell the story today? Any ideas? Um, I feel, thought like actually us. One of us being Moses and one of us, God. Okay, cool. You be, um, who do you want to be? I'm happy being either. Like, you're, you generally always make a great God. Oh, thanks. Because you've got a boomy boy. That's very kind of you. I will, um, I will try and bring out my boomy God voice. <clears throat> okay, so, um... Am I telling it or are you telling it? Shall I tell it? You tell it. I think as your God, you should be telling it. Okay. All right, then. I will tell it. Okay. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, here we go with Exodus 3 in the paraphrase of Rick and Shannon from Kids Life. So, um, one day, whilst Moses was watching his father-in-law's sheep, one of them decided to go on a wander. Moses followed. Whilst Moses was following the sheep, he found a bush that was on fire, but it wasn't burning up. How can a bush not be burning if it's on fire? Exactly. And as Moses walked towards the bush, there was a voice, and the voice said, Moses. God voice. Who's that? Moses. What? Take off your sandals. You are on holy ground. Well, I don't have sandals, but I have docks. Okay, so. you put your dock to put the put the okay, right. off. Excellent. So um I, I, and then Moses goes towards uh, the burning bush without any shoes on. And he falls on his knees and worships. And God then starts to tell Moses some incredible things. I have seen how badly my people are treated in Egypt. I've heard their cries. Yes, I am aware of their suffering. So I have come down to help them do what they're supposed to do. I am going to use you, Moses, as the person to free my people. Like, why me? Like, they're not going to listen to me. I killed someone. Like, I will I be doing? with you, Moses, says God. And this is your sign that I am the one who has sent you. When you brought the, when you brought when when you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God at this very mountain. 
wow but like you want me to go to them and talk to them but what do i say to them to so they actually know that it is you ah yes say i am has sent you say i am has sent you okay yes. but what happens if they then don't believe me continue to say i am has sent you is a good one and um and then go and call together uh, all the elders of israel and tell them yahweh the god of your ancestors the god of abraham isaac and jacob has appeared to you okay so i go to call up the elders yeah and they come and they come and tell and i basically gather them and i yes. tell them yahweh has sent you yes me for you and then go to Pharaoh and say, I am has sent you, and to set God's people, the Israelites, free. So I need to go to Pharaoh, who wants to kill me. Yes. Because I killed an Egyptian, and go, I am has sent you, and set the Israelites free. Like, yes, and he's know not going that, to do that I am with you, Moses. Okay. That's but, kind of in Exodus 3 right there, Shannon. High five, my friend. High five. Excellent Exodus job. 3. Like, yeah. What thoughts have you got, Shannon, on um, this chunk of scripture? We've kind of not done it in the kind of the, 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 we've not just read it straight from the Bible. We've kind of added our own little kind of thoughts into it in some ways, but um, I encourage you to read Exodus 3. But Shannon, what thoughts have you got on it, mate? So, like, my first thought was about holy ground. What is holy ground? So, you have experience of, like, holy ground. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think um, not in the kind of the spiritual sense, let's be honest. Um, I, uh, I'm a big Man United fan. I love my football, as Shannon knows. And... Um, uh, not only have I walked on Man City uh, and their home ground, but I've also been on the team that I follow, Man United. I've been on their pitch as well. And, um, yeah, it, it feels incredible to go on a into a space that um, I guess you worship, that you kind of revere. It's not that I put Man United above Jesus, don't worry about that. But what I mean is it's that sense of you're stepping onto something that you almost feel like you shouldn't be there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and I mean, there's signs all over Old Trafford saying, keep off the grass. And I was allowed to go on through some work that I was doing. But um, yeah, there's something about walking on that that is really quite amazing. And so I guess that's what it'd be like for Moses. Like, whoa, wait a minute. Something quite yeah. incredible. But it's kind of like, it got me thinking of like, we actually have where we walk in general actually creating holy ground around us because we have the holy spirit in us like just and that's amazing that yeah. thought incredible incredible great okay so uh, we walk on holy ground because if we know who jesus is then we receive the holy yeah. spirit so then we have that great point number one holy ground love that point number two is actually I know I feel like Moses a lot, okay. especially in Exodus 3. He's just like going, God, but what about this? And what about this? Or what about this? And he literally ends this conversation. And God, is, by this point, is getting a bit like, geez, Moses, like, I said that I'm going to be with you. Yeah. And you, it's going to be okay. Yeah. But instead, he's like, but I can't speak. No one is going to listen to someone who can't speak hmm. or kind of like they stutter and kind of like, and not very confident hmm. because he's literally been living in the middle of nowhere where sheep are company. Yeah. So talking is probably not that great. And for me, I generally feel like that. Like, as you know, Rick, at the start of the year, I was like, I'm not going to talk in front of, like, assembly. Or, like, you're not going to get me in front of church and 
for speaking. Yeah. <laughs> because for me, I know I can't speak very well at times and I stutter. Like try, trying to say last week, try to tell it off. Yeah, it's so true. And, and like equally, uh, and people might not believe this, um, but actually at school, I was the quiet kid. But like I wouldn't have um, stood up in front of people um, either. Um, I also find at times my words are hard to get out. And, you know, and yet because God helps us, like the amazing bit about Exodus 4 is that although Moses comes up with all these excuses, God provides for him. He gives him signs of God's power. He says, I'm going to bring this person in. I'm going to help you with this. And this will be a promise. And he gives him a wooden stick. And all of that stuff comes out of Exodus 4. Um, but yeah, you're right. Like, I still remember our conversation at the start of the year. Like, oh, no, I'm not, I can't do that. And I can't do that. And, and yet, what is it that God's done in you is he's provided for you. He's, yeah. He's helped you to work out the right way to do this stuff. Um, and I would encourage that for our, for those who are watching, right? That yeah. um, you might feel as though you can't do it, but actually with God's help, absolutely anything is, in, is possible, right? And it's kind of just like, actually just be really encouraged that even when you really don't feel like you can do it, and that you are the worst person ever to be like going, I can't, I'm not qualified to do this. I like, I'm a child or I'm a young person. Like so other people know not so much better than what I know that actually God uses you and he uses you in amazing ways. And as we keep going through the story of Moses, we start to see how God is working in Moses' life. As someone who can't speak, he then is like writing huge letters to the Israelites yeah. and making a huge addresses and like in front of thousands and millions of people. Yeah. And it's just be encouraged by that, that God will use you even when you've got difficulties or you struggle with stuff. He uses that as a way to actually get through. And no matter where you are. So good. So um, great couple of points, Shannon, about holy ground and that with the Holy Spirit, we actually get to walk in that because that was kind of what God had created with Moses. And yeah. The fact that God can help us, even though we might feel as though we can't do this or we can't do that. In actual fact, God is willing to help us. Um, like Moses put his trust into him, he kind of in the end goes, well, okay, okay. Like, I can't do any more. I mean, he even turned a stick into a snake, right? Like, he turned his hand leprous as yeah, well. Exactly. Like he did incredible things. Exodus 4 is an amazing chunk of scripture. And um, yeah, I love that, that actually God said, look, nothing's too big for me. I can sort this out so yeah amazing so uh, sorry about that I had an interruption but it'll be all okay uh, so um yeah let's um let's pray shall we yep is that all right i'm gonna pray and then um and then we'll say bye um by um in the form of uh, I don't know yet. Maybe we'll see. Anyway, let me pray. So God, um, I pray for each person uh, watching, uh, Lord, that you'll um, help them to know the Holy Spirit is with them and that um, that holy ground is created, that you are there in the midst of where they stand and where they walk. And Lord, also the big things in life at the moment, the things that we're struggling with, the things that seem too big, uh, help us to trust you like Moses did. And then as he trusts you, sees incredible things happening. So Lord, help us, I pray. In your name. Amen. Amen. Great. Right then, uh, my friend, uh, we are back next week. Yes, we are. Who knows what Boris is going to say. Don't know. But we, we know we're going to be back. We have. And also, Shannon and I were talking earlier, and uh, we've got some other crazy ideas that we're probably going to put out on this uh, on kids life as well as on uh, checking uh, including a friend of ours called miss b so uh, watch out for that 
and um, yeah, let's have some uh, fun. So Shannon, uh, what are you going to do this week that you didn't do last week? Uh, probably not play the UK Blessing on repeat. Or... UK Blessing is a great song. And also I found out this week that they're doing a kids version. Ooh, that's so exciting. It is, isn't it? So I think I'm going to add that into uh, our Kids Life stuff and our check-in stuff as well. It's amazing stuff. So, um, yeah, guys, have a great week and uh, keep positive. There is light at the end of the tunnel, all right? Boris has told us that. So come on, a couple more weeks, hopefully. And we've got faith. We do God. have faith, exactly right. So go and read Exodus 3 and 4 with your parents or carers or whoever it is at home and um, have a great week. See you later, Shannon. See you later.